B part of the question. I did the A part in my previous video. This is the A part right here. In the A part, what we did was we connected a voltage source V at the terminal Y, and we saw that exact same voltage appear in the X as well. At the same time, we applied a current I to X, and we saw that exact same current flow through the Y terminal. The all the currents are equal, and also in the Z terminal, all the currents are equal and stuff like that. Okay. So now in the part B, let's see what we had to show. In the part B, with Y connected to the ground, so that a virtual ground appeared at X. So now what we are doing is we are connecting the Y to a ground, and we had to show the exact same voltage appear in the X, that is virtual ground here. And uh, also now if X is connected to a 5 voltage supply through a 10 k ohm resistor, what color current flow through Z? So they are asking us to find out the Z current. If I connect a 10 k ohm resistor and 5 voltage supply at the X, okay. So let's do that. In order to illustrate this one better, I just copy this diagram and do the changes as required. Go to a new page. Let me double check, copy it. I know why it's not appearing here. Let me double check. I'll close this one. Open a new page. Try to copy this. For some reason, I won't be able to copy. Okay, so you know what? Let's draw the diagram maybe. Oh, maybe it's already there. Oh, okay, I now understand this. The picture is there, but okay, yeah, I copied it wrong. So I had to see in which exact this one. Yeah, okay, now I can copy. Okay, since I have, I'm creating free space here, I'm gonna do this over here as well. It's better. Yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's so many layers, it's messing everything up. I want to close this one. Open this again. Okay, now let's try to copy this.
okay now we have the diagram and we are going to do the changes as required so what is required here is we are we want to connect this one to a virtual ground we want to connect this one to the ground and we want to show there's a virtual ground appear here at the same time they're saying that connect this one to a 5k ohm resistance actually 10k ohm resistance 10k ohm resistance and also apply a plus 5 voltage here power supply and uh, find out find out the voltage here and stuff like that and if you learn notice this is uh, npn bjt i mean this is a pnp bjt and in the bottom we have npn bjt uh, how do we know pnp and npn because you look at the arrows if the arrow is pointing inward that's an pnp if the arrow is if it inward pnp outward npn okay the difference between npn and pnp is for pnp the emitter will be on top for npn the emitter will be on the bottom collector is on the bottom for the pnp collector is on the top on for the npn okay so it means the voltage appear here is v1 for the pnp transistor and this is v2 and the current flow through this one is ie1 and uh, let's name this one based on the transistor okay uh, because if this is a q2 it means i have to name it as v2 here this is v1 v1 right here um so this is v1 v2 the current flow through this one is ie2 and the current flow through this one is ie1 and uh, here as we proved in the like uh, this is a collector current of the ic4 you can either call it ic4 or ic2 because it's the same thing because for the pnb transistor the collector is in the bottom so whatever the current here is ic2 and that's also equivalent to ic4 okay the same thing here you can either call it ic1 or ic3 same thing and uh, this one is ic5 because this is npn transistor that, that for npn transistor the top part is collector so ic5 flow through this and uh, in the part a we proved that all the currents are going to be equal because they are this all the mosfets are matched i mean not mosfet uh, bjt's are matched so therefore the this is going to form current mirrors so exact current flow through this is going to be here and stuff like that and uh, here we connect this one to the ground okay that is ve2 therefore we can say ve2 is equal to zero since we connect this one to the ground <coughs> okay therefore we can say that and uh, since these two are matched the base uh, voltage is going to be equal you see the MOSFET are connector base VB1 is going to be VB2 and at the same time the base emitter uh, the base emitter is going to be also same that is we can say vb2 is equal to vb1 and also we can say vb4 is equal to vb3 okay so from that one we can see a relationship if vb1 and vb2 are equal then uh, ve1 and ve2 must be equal because 
vb e1 is nothing but vb minus v so vb1 minus if vb1 minus v2 equal to vb1 minus v1 then if vb1 and vb2 are equal then v1 and v2 should be should, must be equal okay so it means here is connected to the ground so the voltage in the v2 is zero therefore we can say v1 also zero so it means there's a virtual ground appearing right here at this point this is a zero voltage okay so that is the part over the first one asking us to prove and uh, they, then they are asking what current flow through z if i calculate the current here that exact current is going to flow through everywhere because if you say the current i flow through this the exact i current flow through the z as well okay we, we did it in the part a you can watch my previous video in order to understand that but uh, here we are just going to calculate the current here so here we have 5 voltage and we calculate the v1 to be 0 so 5 minus 0 divided by the voltage in between I mean uh, divided by the resistor in between should be equal to the current flow through this so if I create the equation for the I I is equal to uh, initially there's a 5 voltage voltage source so 5 minus this V1 that is 0 we calculated 0 divided by the resistor in between that is 10 k ohm resistor should be equal to the current flow through this so 5 divided by 10 k that is equal to 0 0.5 milliampere that is I current and I current is equal to IC3 IC4 like all the IC all the currents are equal uh, as we did in the part A so IC5 is also equal to which is equal to IC5 therefore we can say IC5 is equal to 0 0.5 milliampere because they are asking us to prove uh, asking us to find out the current passing through the Z what current flows through Z that is exact current flow through this so that is also 0 0.5 milliampere and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video